there is none before you and there shall be none after you. Hallelujah. I know that this is in the middle of your day and I praise God that you took time out of your day today to come into the presence of God and just to honor him and glorify him and what he is doing. Our scripture verse of the day is going to come from Proverbs 3130. And I really want us to talk about this. So the scripture reads, charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. I need you to know that you are to be praised that God has called you for greatness. And at this hour, we are going to draw near unto God and he will draw near unto us. As we go in through this prayer time, I just really want you to take a deep breath. Just take a deep breath in right now. Inhale the breath of God, inhale the peace of God and exhale everything that's been happening today. And let's prepare our time ourselves for a time of prayer. God, in all situations, hallelujah, we thank you, Father God, that at all times that you are good, that nothing compares to you, Father God, and there is no one like you, Father God. You are worthy of all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise simply because of who you are. Nothing can be added to you and nothing can be taken away from you. You are constantly powerful, kind, loving, and just, merciful, and all-knowing. And we are humbled, Father God, that we get to know you. We are humbled, Father God, that you have called us. We are humbled, Father God, that you have chosen us for a time such as this. We present ourselves unto you, Father God, as a living sacrifice, Father God. We present ourselves to you as a living sacrifice, a living offering. We present ourselves, Father God, as a, as a lamb, Father God, ready to be sacrificed, Father God. We present ourselves as a clean lamb without spot or blemish. Forgive us for every sin that we've committed, known or unknown, committed through commission or omission. We bless your holy name, Father God. We thank you, Father God, that you are the first and the last, that you are the beginning and the end, that there is none before you and there shall be none after you, that you yourself have willed us to exist and in your will, we, we have our being, Father God. Have you not commanded us, Father God, to be strong and courageous, that we should not be afraid and not be discouraged, Father God, for you are the Lord our God and you will be with us forever and ever, wherever we go, Father God, whether we're going to our workplaces, Father God, where we're, whether we're coming home, we are never alone and there is nothing too big for you, Father God. As we, Father God, are meditating on your goodness and as we are meditating on your mercies, Father God, we, Father God, we, Father God, think upon, Father God, we lift up every care right now. We lift up every care that we have, Father God. We present it before you, Father God. Just take a moment and let the truth sink in. Let the truth sink in that God is with you wherever you go that God is merciful, that God is just, and he cares about you, that he is our strength and our refuge. He told us be strong and courageous. If there is something that is going on, a situation, a scenario, a relationship that, that has been that's been bogging down your mind that you are heavy laden with. If it's your children, your workplace, your finances, your health, I want you to present that to God right now. I want you to take a moment and present it to God. Let the truth sink in as you bring your cares and concerns before God. Bring your cares and concerns before God. Hallelujah. We present it all to you, Father God. We lay it at your feet. We lay it at your feet, Father God. We lay it at your feet. Hallelujah. We lay our children at your feet, Father God. We lay our finances at your feet, Father God. We lay our relationships at your feet, Father God. We lay our businesses at your feet, Father God. 
We lay our employers at your feet, Father God. We know, Father God, that there is nothing too great for you. We lay our health, our psychological health, our physiological health, we lay it all at your feet, Father God, because we know that you care about us. We know, Father God, that you have called us to be strong and courageous, but Father God, we are tired. We are exhausted, Father God. We need you more now than ever before, Father God. Lead us on the path of righteousness for your name's sake. You said in your word that you would come up off your throne and rescue us. So we ask you, Father God, we actually, we command and invoke the word of God to rise up right now, arise in our situations, arise in our circumstances, Father God. Your, your word says that when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will raise up a standard. Well, I command the standards to be raised up right now in every situation that we have presented before you. Arise, 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 and let our enemies be scattered. We thank you for the yes and amen. We thank you for the uncommon and unprecedented favor with God and man. We thank you right now for life and life more abundantly, that that which you have blessed can no man curse. We command everything that is misaligned to come into divine alignment according to to your original plan and purpose. We bless your holy name, Father God. We thank you, hallelujah. We glorify you, hallelujah. Blessings, honor, and glory, hallelujah. We thank you that we are never alone, Father God, that although, Father God, in the natural, it may seem like, Father God, we are alone, Father God. You are always with us. You are our front guard and our rear guard. You are the one that makes the way where there was no way. We thank you for leveling every mountain that the enemy, Father God, has tried to rise up against us, Father God. We thank you right now that the truth of your sovereignty over our lives is manifested each and every day more and more. Hallelujah. We lift up, Father God, everything before you. We thank you, Father God, for calling us to carry each other's burdens. We lift up, Father God, even those that are not able to be on the line today, those that you have placed upon our hearts. We lift up every individual right now, Father God, within the body of Christ. Those that are saved, those that have turned their back on you, Father God, and those, Father God, that are called to know you but have not made the choice to know you. We invoke, Father God, the spirit of the Lord to rise up upon this earth like never before. Help us to be quick to help others, Father God, when we can and be willing to accept help when we need it, Father God. Inspire us to love each other well, Father God, to be good listeners and to hold each other accountable and to pray for each other day and night without ceasing. Help us to become more like you, Father God. We glorify you, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless you. We thank you, Father God, for this noonday break. We thank you, Father God, for a life that is filled with your love, Father God, your power, but most of all, for you, with your grace and your mercy. Hallelujah. Your spirit, Father God, we receive the spirit of God, Father God. The spirit you we receive, Father God, makes us slaves unto you, Father God. We submit ourselves unto you so that we, Father God, may no longer live in the fear of this world, but we live in the fear of the Lord. I release the fear of the Lord in our households. I release the fear of the Lord in our workplaces. Father God, your spirit, Father God, we received it, Father God, when you brought us into adoption through your, through your sonship, Father God. And we cry out unto you, Abba, Father. We cry out unto you, Abba, Father. We are standing, Father God, in wholeness and in unity with you, Father God. Lift us up. You said that when we are weak, you are strong, Father God. You said that you give us faith the size of a mustard feed, Father God. So I, we come before you and we say we believe, help our unbelief. We believe, help our unbelief. Holy Spirit, blow profusely, uncontaminated, and unhindered within our lives. We thank you right now for doors being flung open wide. And Father God, and that on the other side of those doors, you are standing there motioning us to come in, motioning us to take a seat at the table that you have prepared for us, Father God. We thank you, Father God, that we walk with boldness and clarity, Father God, to apprehend all that you have called us to apprehend, Father God, that we no longer walk in 
in the fear of imprisonment of this world. We no longer walk in the fear of the imprisonment of debt. We no longer walk in the fear of the imprisonment of, of sickness and disease. We no longer walk in fear and the imprisonment of loneliness and hardship, Father God. But we walk, Father God, in the fullness of all that you have called us to. We walk in the fullness, Father God, of all that you have called us to do. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God. We glorify you, hallelujah. We bless your holy name. Right now, I want you to think about your life. You've lift up every situation. We've lift up the situations that are causing us to be concerned, to, to, to have doubt, to, to have um, insecurities. But I want you to, I want you to really think about what at this moment, what fear has imprisoned you? What fear has imprisoned you from living the full life that God has called you to live? Ask God to show you how to let go of that fear and embrace his will. Take a moment to process what stood out to you. We're just going to have a moment here. What fear has imprisoned you? What fear is holding you back? As you see that fear that's been holding you back, I need you to know and I need you to embrace the fullness and the power of God. Remember, God said that he chose you. He knew you before you were fashioned in your mother's womb. He know you, knew you before your parents knew you. He chose you. He knows you. He understands you. He created you. He, he created you for a time such as this, not so that you would walk in fear or in trepidation, but so that you would walk in the fullness of knowing and coming into relationship with him. He birthed you on this earth so that he could have a relationship with you on this manifested earth. Take a moment to process what stood out to you and feel free to stay in this space for as long as you need. Understanding that that fear was not your portion, that when he fashioned you, when he formed you, that particular fear was not your portion. Father God, we release it right now. We release it right now. We release it right now. Your word says in Proverbs 31, Father God, verse 26, that a woman that she speaks with wisdom and faithful instruction is on her tongue. She watches over the affairs of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Father God, at this hour, Father God, we don't want to, we command idleness and fear because fear has caused some of us to walk in idleness, to stand in idleness. And we rebuke that right now. We repent for idleness. We repent for allowing fear to control our thoughts, allowing fear to control the words of our mouth. But I decree and declare that our words are filled with wisdom, that we speak life into every situation that we speak healing into every situation and that we seek you out for faithful instruction, Father God, on how to execute line upon line and precept upon precept all that you have called us to do. That our children will arise and they are called blessed. That others will see us arise and call us blessed that our husbands will see us and call us blessed, that our friends and family will see us and call us blessed. Many women do noble things, but you, Father God, surpass them all. 
Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Honor for all, every woman, Father God, that is upon this earth that her hands have done, Father God. Honor for all the work that the hands of a woman have done. We thank you right now, Father God. Let our works, Father God, bring you praise, Father God, at the city gates that others may know and see that you have anointed us, that you have appointed us for a time such as this. We bless you, Father God. We thank you, Father God, that at this hour, Father God, we arise. We arise in the midnight hour, that we arise in the situation of, uh, of depression. We arise in the situation of anxiety. We arise in the situation of doubt. We arise in the situation of lack. We arise in the situation of employment, Father God. We arise in every situation, Father God, that you have placed before us because you have anointed us. You have called us, Father God, that we consider you in everything that we do. And because of that consideration, Father God, you have bestowed uncommon and unprecedented favor on our lives. We thank you right now for a path that is made plain and clear. We thank you, Father God, that just as you did it for the Egyptian, for the Israelites when they left Egypt, Father God, we thank you right now Father God, that you are parting the Red Seas in our lives, that you are parting the Red Sea of, Father God, mental illness, that you are parting the Red Sea of lack and poverty, that you are parting the Red Sea of idleness, that you are parting the Red Sea of doubt and hesitation, that you are parting the Red Sea of sickness and disease, that you are parting the Red Sea so that we may walk into the promised land that you have called us to walk in. We thank you for the covering of Yahweh over our lives. We thank you that the blood of Jesus Christ creates a barrier from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet that is unpenetratable and unscalable, Father God. We thank you that we are fully clad with the armor of the Lord and the armor of light and that we take pleasure in your kingdom and the assignment that you have set before us, Father God. We thank you for the garments of praise, Father God, that we walk in, Father God. We honor you with every sway of our hip, with every move of our hand, with every word of our mouth. We honor and glorify you, Father God, for you are worthy to to be praised you are worthy to be praised father god we thank you we glorify you father god for your word says that a woman who fears the lord is to be praised and i decree and declare that the fear of the lord is released into our lives is released into our our friends and family is released into our sisters, is released into our mothers, is released into our daughter-in-laws, is released into our cousins, is released into every woman that is upon this earth. We thank you, Father God. We glorify you. We thank you that everything is meaningless unless you are in the center of it. And on this day, Father God, you are in the center of our lives. We, have re we are reaffirming your position in our life. We worship you, Father God. We glorify you, hallelujah. We thank you, Father God, for the yes and amen. We thank you, Father God, that blessed, Father God, that you have called us blessed, Father God, that you have made a way where there was no way, that your abundant mercies, Father God, are renewed each and every day, that you are our living hope, Father God, through the resurrection power of Jesus Christ, Father God, that we shall arise, Father God, and apprehend and live the life that you have called us to live, that we are blessed to be a blessing, that we give to, Father God, the needy, Father God, we give, Father Father God, to the homeless. We give, Father God. And because we give, Father God, we are open to receive everything that you have for us. We thank you for, for making a path that is plain and clear. We thank you, Father God, for, your, for the straightening out of every path. We are content to say, Father God, that you are sovereign over all things and that is our duty to follow your ways for living, Father God. Since you, Father God, will bring every deed into judgment, judge us first, Father God. 
judge us first. Let us, Father God, continue and perpetually present ourselves to you as a living sacrifice so that we may have a pure heart, a heart that is pleasing unto you, a heart that honors you, a heart that blesses you, a heart that causes the multitudes to draw nigh unto the power of God that is within us. We thank you, Father God, for never leaving us nor forsaking us. We do not labor in vain, Father God, but we, Father God, trust and rely solely upon you because we know that it is not by power nor might, but by the spirit of the living God, that generations will come and generations will go, but the earth and the fullness thereof will remain forever and ever. Just as the sun rises and sets as the same and hurries back to where it rises, the wind blows to the south and then turns to the north, round and round it goes, every returning on its course, all streams flow into the sea yet the sea is never full to the place where the streams come from there are there they return all things are wearisome more than one can say they the eye never has enough seeing nor the ear is has a never is never full of hearing father god what has been father god will be again what has been done will be done again there is nothing new under the sun Everything, Father God, comes from you. And we thank you, Father God, that no one, Father God, remembers the former generation and even those that are yet to come, they will not be remembered. But those who follow you, that we shall be remembered. We shall be remembered for glorifying you. We shall be remembered by the works of our hand to honor your kingdom, Father God, to honor your precepts, Father God. Wisdom, Father God, is meaningless without you. And so we thank you, Father God, that each and every day you provide us with opportunities, Father God, to apply your wisdom to every situation, step-by-step -step strategies, kingdom principles and kingdom strategies that under the heaven, Father God, we stand before you under the heavens, Father God, with all the wisdom surrounding us, Father God, that you, Father God, will lift the burdens upon us, from us, Father God. And I thank you, Father God, that in that lifting, we are able to release, Father God, and speak words of words of life into every situation we thank you for it hallelujah we bless you for it hallelujah that every crooked path is made straight that there is no lack hallelujah we expect the increase an increase of wisdom an increase father god of peace an increase of clarity an increase father god in every area of our life because we have submitted ourselves unto you and we understand that wisdom comes from on high we understand that you are the one that chastens the wind that you are the one that brings everything to pass. And so we thank you right now that we will stand firm. We will stand steadfast, unmovable, and unshakable upon the foundation and the path that you have called us on because we are mere witnesses to see the manifested glory of God in every area of our life. We thank you and we honor you. We glorify you. In Jesus' holy, holy name, we pray. And let everyone say amen, amen, and amen.